Okay guys, this isn't going to be a long video. Um, I dedicate this one to Chef Tuss. And the reason I say that is, not that he gave me a hand on the car, but it's the thing that he does that stuck in my mind tonight. Because I had a, run I had a meeting on Monday, a meeting on Tuesday, a meeting on Wednesday. Okay? Last night was Wednesday. Last night I came home, I had a half hour, I didn't eat dinner, I sat down, I fell asleep. Woke up to the sound of my phone being texting, you know, being texted, which sounds just like my alarm clock. I opened up my phone, I saw the time, I thought I was late for work, and went running around to realize that it was only 7 o'clock at night. Okay? Then I had to run for another meeting. I came back home, it was 10.30 at night. Hadn't eaten since lunchtime. So... There was dinner here. Uh, the missus had made me dinner hours before. Uh, so I decided, okay, I'm just going to turn the oven to 375 and I'll warm it up for 10 minutes, eat something, and go to bed. So I was starving. I turned on the oven, put the food in there. Yeah, till 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> That's when... That's when Junior decided to come downstairs to get himself a drink of water and saw all the smoke in the house and knew the oven was on, he saw it and pulled out these things. They started out big, <laughs> but they were about this big and they were powder. They were long burnt, long cone on fire, long out and just ash. Okay, and they were just the remainings of chicken cutlets. <laughs> So he wakes me up. I don't know who he is, where I am. I was in such a deep sleep that I just wound up walking by him and going to bed. So I had been trying to catch back up. So tonight I had to run an errand. I came out here late, but I did the Chef Tush Power Hour because this needs to be done. Okay, I promised Tuesday night I would do this. I forgot I had another meeting. So I figured I would do it last night. I forgot I had another meeting. So, with that, we did come out here, we did undo everything. There is another tank in the garage, and there's the A-Track. There is another tank in the garage. Uh, yeah, they're not the same size, they're very close though. That one's all gone, 100%. That one's staying there. That's why this thing is here with the holes. That's staying there, that's got a quick disconnect for the TIG machine. So we're not going to bother putting that on the car, it's just going to have a long hose on the, you know, on the flow side. A uh, very wise move. Um, I recommend that to anybody that's got a small machine. You're better off just buying a long hose and leaving that baby secured than putting on one of those rinky ass carts. Like this little bottle is made for this cart. There's an 80. That's a 280 or 250 something. It's pretty big. That's a 3 inch change. So, um, did we get much done? Uh, well, the car's getting neater. How's that? The thing hanging down is the courtesy light. The wires on the tunnel are still the original wires. We mounted the MSD box. I redid the speaker wire. I brought it above the MSD box, but I also taped it black. Uh, Ran my two harnesses here, the tack wire and the other one. I brought them over, joined them together, and right now I just have one piece of tape on it. I just have it zip tied up there for now. Uh, now we're laying here, and we'll get these wires done right from the other side of the car. Okay. Now remember something. You can see the bracket hanging down. This package tray. Uh, I'm trying to think. I think it's right above this. So this package tray comes across, covers most of this shit. You'd have to lay on the ground to see any wires that are, you know, from the heater box higher. So we'll just come across, make a nice trunk. If I gotta put a loop in it, I will. I'll neaten up their stereo stuff. Which basically all they did was they took the extra wire and made an oval of it and just zip tied it, which is fine. The radio's always worked. We don't I'm not really concerned about it. If he wants to play with audio on this thing he can. Um then after we neaten that, 
over on the wire for the line lock. I just got to, basically what I'm going to do is if nobody understood, I know it's very dark in here, the lighting really is terrible. Here's the wire for the line lock. It has to be flexible, but it's going to come right through where the carpet is. We'll bring it down the side. We'll hook it to it so it has room for the shifter to go back and forth. We'll put it, put it like a zip tie to this cable, come in the carpet, stay under the carpet, and come back up right over here. And then I'll just run the wire over. So the wire will be under the carpet here. Now this, they do sell a cover for this. We're undecided if we're going to buy it. The, the cover will cover this cable, and it does come up to here. And it gives you optional switches and a bunch of other shit. Cover's expensive. Covers almost as much as a shifter. This shifter got really expensive. The shifter is now like four hundred and twenty-five dollars. Um, if you guys know, this was my swap beat score for a hundred bucks. A brandy new. I'm missing one of the labels, if you guys remember. And they still sell all the stuff. So it's made in Florida, I think. It's still one of the best ones out there. Um, here we gotta vacuum this. I went like this behind there before I mounted it. So this mounted four screws through the firewall. Um, you only see one of the screws. Two of them in the wheel well. The other one's so low you can't see it. And the other one's right behind the dipstick tube. <laughs> Very close, but doesn't doesn't touch. So, with that said, uh, there's the one last wire that turns all this on. Okay, there's the lug. It doesn't, it doesn't draw a lot of amps or anything like that. There is a lug in the fuse box for it. And I could just hook it to ignition and call it done. Uh, I just want to make sure that it's secure and it can't fall out because if it falls out, the club dies. Can I just grab a wire to GM column? Can I grab a wire at the end that's ignition too? Um, and no, we're not going to scotch lock it. Can I either put two into one side and one out the other, butt connected? make a long distance with a lot of wrappings and solder it. Yeah, there's a bunch of things I could do. Uh, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to run it neat and we're going to plug it in. That's exactly what we're going to do. I brought home some males. Just takes one. We're going to plug that in for now. And the reason we're doing it like that is the wire has to go further to go into the fuse box. I could always shorten it up and put it on the column when I change my mind. This way I can unplug everything. So as I'm turning the keys on and off, I like the idea that I could I'm actually not powering up the MSD. Okay. Um, so, with that said, we're calling it for tonight, guys. Uh, like I said, another night that doesn't seem like I didn't do much, but I did. I did enough. Trust me. We're moving forward. Uh, we gotta get this car moved over. We're gonna do that tomorrow. Junior's got sh weld, shit to weld. Um, and that's it. Actually, I think I'm gonna roll the nose over tonight and just leave it over so he can just go by, even though stuff is plugged in.